Hey guys, it's Paul from Azure Phoenix. New comic book day for the week of March 7th, and we're going to get started right now. Hey guys, Tim from Capes and Scales and the Comic Book Store, and I'm going to tell you about the trades that come out today. We've got Mecha Boys by that James Kochalka guy. I've been saying his name wrong all this time. Uh, we've got The Highest House. This is actually a magazine, but it looks kind of cool, so I threw it in there so you could see it. We've got Image Plus, which talks about Gideon Falls, which actually comes out this week. It's a Jeff Lemire book. I've got a new volume of Lobster Johnson, collecting probably 75 different one-shots. We've got Batman by Neil Adams. You all know how I feel about Neil Adams. How we, do you feel about Neil Adams? You know how I feel about Neil Adams. How do you feel about Neil Adams? It's not good. <laughs> Super Sons, Volume 2. A lot of people have been digging that book. We've got Justice League, Volume 3. This is the one with Lobo, the oddball kind of team. Still going strong. We've got everyone's favorite, I suppose. The Walking Dead, 29. Introduces a new character. You should check that out. We got your pal Archie. It's brand new, old school style Archie. We've got Avengers and the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't actually know what this... No, that's what it collects. It's called Avengers and the Infinity Gauntlet. There you go. We've got War Mother from Valiant. This is pretty good. We reviewed issue one on here. And we've got Firebug. Another new trade from Image. I believe this went right to trade. I don't recall seeing issues of it. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. But hey, it looks cool. I also got a Tick pop figure from uh, the Amazon series. And perhaps the coolest thing ever is Oblivion Song. We've got the Collector's Edition. This is a $200 ver version of it. It comes with a print. comes with this nice statue and a special variant, which you can only get from this box. It even has a price tag on the variant of $200. This is the ultimate Kirkman thing. It is super limited. Come buy it. It is super sweet. Up first, we have Avengers 683. Just no Surrender, issue number nine, so there's four issues left. Um, this is a great issue, but I can't talk a lot about it because it's just full of spoilers. Uh, a big reveal happens in this issue, and... Uh, it's just one of those things. You, you need to read it. You've been, I, I've been, I've been talking about this for nine weeks now. Um, it's a great series. It's something you should be checking out. Um, it is going to be something that is going to lead into this uh, new reboot, or whatever it may be, um, and the whittling down of those characters into what we will find as the new Avengers. But uh, it's definitely worth the read. Pick it up. All right. First up, I got a boom book called Dodge City because it's about dodgeball. And it's one of those cutesy kind of stories, cutesy in that it's just like slice of life kind of story. Uh, it was a fun book, um, not really my cup of tea, uh, but I will say that whoever's the editor on this book screwed up because there's a couple typos and it's nobody's fault but the editor. Sloppy editing, I'm sorry. Um, if you like slice of life kind of stories, it's fine. Uh, I have no interest in reading more. But yeah, terrible editing, shame. Next, we have a twofer. We have Batman White Knight, issue number six, and Batman issue number 42. What? My two favorite books are not my pick of the week? I know, it's crazy. Uh, first, we have Batman White Knight. Uh, it is coming down to that point where Batman has to be captured. How is he going to come in? Uh, once he comes in, is he going to be unmasked? Uh, all those are answered. In this issue, it's a great series. It's there's only two left. Um, I'm I'm actually gonna be sad when this one goes. This has been a superb series, and I can't wait to see more of it. Batman 42, uh, Ivy's one, kind of, uh, but she she has literally everyone. She has the entire world, and uh, Tom King does an amazing job as a banter because. Batman and Catwoman are still the only two left, and Catwoman's still planning her wedding, and she's pissed off, and she's just mad about who she has to invite, and all of them are Ivy, and uh, it's just a great series. Um, we get to see uh, a lot of the interactions between Ivy and, uh, and the couple, because uh, she can talk to them through anyone, because she is literally everyone, and I really like to see how this is going to go, and how this uh, continues and uh, how it resolves itself. But you should definitely be picking this one up. Next up for IDW, I've got the Spider King, number one. 
This is a pretty cool book. It's about Vikings doing what Vikings do, fighting each other and trying to get to Valhalla or something like that. It is really kind of standard fare, but it has a nice little twist at the end because uh, they mix genres because Vikings this whole time violence and it's gruesome and it has this cool kind of art style But at the very end aliens <laughs> Yeah, and the aliens are pretty gruesome, too, so it's a fun story uh, It's got a nice twist um, I believe they told you that twist in the previews. I'm not spoiling it for you. So yeah, check it out It's pretty great. So what is my pick of the week? It is Oblivion Song issue number one by Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo um, no, not going to try to butcher his last name. <sighs> to give you an idea of what Oblivion Song is, uh, we are dealing with the main character who is bouncing back and forth between a dimensional rift in Philadelphia that has claimed 300,000 people um, in the city. They are all stuck in this dimension, and he has been ping-ponging back and forth for the better part of a decade, saving people, and obviously having it harder and harder to find people. Um, and him fighting against the government to to go back and and get these uh, these groups of uh, American citizens that are stuck there. Uh, this is just an amazing book. Um, I've been having a pretty bad streak of of, uh, of image titles where they don't really give you a good starting point for this book, um, or uh, they just they just they're just underwhelming. This book is not that. Uh, it tells you exactly what's going on. It gives you uh, exactly who the main characters are, and then it gives you the direction that it's going to be going. And that's something that every first issue should do, and not many of them really do. Um, but definitely go out and pick this up. Pick this up quick because I got a feeling it's going to sell out in most of your uh, comic book stores. And uh, do yourself a favor and grab a Oblivion song because Invincible's gone. So you need something else, Kirkman, to, to read. And um, uh, Walking Dead's still there, but yeah, Oblivion song. And my pick of the week is The Ballad of Sang. What? The Ballad of Sang? It's an Ed Brisson book from Oni Press. I didn't know anything about it. I picked it up because it's Ed Brisson. He's great, right? Uh, this is every kind of kung, like a modern kung fu movie. This is like everything you wanted. It's over-the-top violence. The layouts are good. The art is good. Um, and I'm very interested to see issue two. Uh, if you just like that style of, you know, a Kung Fu or like a Jackie Chan style movie where you just, you know, you don't see it enough anymore. This is really good. You will like it. It's a little kid beating up the Yakuza. And the little kid is extremely badass. It's like a more violent Robin. Even more violent than Damien. You should like this. So this is the part of the video where I point at things. But I'm not gonna because I just want you to come by this big thing that I made out of order. Because he'll be real mad if he doesn't sell it, and he'll be like, Oh God, you're fired, and I don't want to get fired for 200 bucks. That's pretty lame. This thing is sweet. Look at it. Whoa, it's sweet. Whoa. I have to see what's in it. There, I already did. There's a statue in it. It's still together. It's in there real good. I can feel it. And there's a, there's a, a, a song. There's a comic in there, and a print. And the print is super sweet. And a pin. And sure, there's probably a pin. I don't know. Maybe. I didn't, where did it say pin? What? There's a collector's pin? Who collects pins? You collect pins. Alright. <laughs> There's stuff over there. And there. And here. And like here. But not over there. 